the, the history and said how unhappy he was. That doesn't make sense. And I just don't think that's fair. So we got, there we got Kate's uh, uncle, Gary, dishing the dirt on the Sussexes. Uh, a certain James Barr immediately hit social media. <laughs> fuming at the chat where Kate's uncle, Gary, talks about how Meghan came along and created drama whilst literally creating drama. Yeah. He added, Harry got a girlfriend and that changed the dynamic. Grow up. Right, I do think you should grow up. Also, when was the last time Kate saw you? When was the last time any of us saw our uncles? Like, you're so irrelevant, please... Would you know the answer? But when you last saw your uncle? You got me. <laughs> oh, I know, I see my uncles all the time. I actually <laughs> literally, literally just... Right, you mean when did he one, last see Kate? An hour and a half <laughs> okay, ago. OK, great, well, good yeah. for you. Yeah. But listen, Kate doesn't really pick up the phone to this guy. He's a loser, he's making up nonsense. You know, Meghan came in and saved Harry from a toxic, abusive situation. He really looks like, like a saved individual to me. He he does to me, he does actually. To he, does. Say, he looks Liberate. inherently unhappy. Uh, I think he looks pretty happy because he's ignoring all of the nonsense that you spout about him. Mm. Good for him. <laughs> I, well, he's, honestly... he's not, is he? He's suing over most of it. <laughs> so, look, Candy, you and I have debated before about what went down with the Sussexes and about the race aspect to it. Mm. But there can't be much doubt, can there, if you look at it in totality, that Harry, before Meghan came along, was existing seemingly quite happily in the royal family. Mm. She comes along, there's a huge deal made of her mixed race background, mm. which I wrote about on the wedding day as being a fantastic thing for this country, by the way, for what it's worth. What do you mean by that? As did all the other media at the time. Uh, then it all went wrong because of their behaviour, which I never felt was racially motivated. But there can't be much doubt that Meghan brought with her a lot of drama into Harry's life. Because look at what happened since he met her. How? Hold on, bro. How? I mean, I think, firstly, there was a plenty of drama in Harry's life before Meghan. Like, plenty of drama. And the idea that he was happy is clearly not true. He wrote a whole book saying he's not happy. Spare all this, etc. And this is one of these... This is actually where... He... But he only wrote that years after being oh. with Meghan. What is he doing? The idea that this black woman comes in and all of a sudden there's drama, it's ridiculous. It's yeah, not it's, true. It's he wasn't happy. Thing. And she wanted to... That, that's a racist idea, right? Do you actually it's categorise crazy. her as a black woman? Yes, she's a black woman, because she's treated as a black woman. Which is a black mother, white father. Do you, do you think she's a black woman? Do you think so, people in Britain view yes, her as do. a black I think, woman? I think the evidence is very clear, how she was treated, how she was treated in the family, how she was treated in the press, that she was viewed as a black woman. Come on now, doll. Whether she viewed herself as a black woman when she went in, another question. Amala, she was certainly treated as a black woman. Amala, what's the view over in America about Meghan Markle, particularly, particularly the way she's played the race card against the royal family? as the only well, non, Americans... non-white bride we've had in the royal family. Sure. I would say, for the most part, Americans are not too fond of Meghan Markle and... Uh... To Mr. Andrews, she is biracial, much like I am biracial, and we can make the argument that she's constantly going to be seen as black, but the fact is, she's a biracial woman. This is the worst. <laughs> But I think what a Meghan Markle carried with her is an idea of perpetual victimhood. She views herself as a victim because she is female. She views herself as a victim because she is black. And when you carry that sort of energy with you and you view the world through that lens, every odd look is going to be racism. Every off comment is going to be racism. Fact. Now, I can't speak to the internal dynamics of the royal family, what was said and what was not, but I do know that that's her attitude. Yeah, see, James, my, my take on it, for what it's worth, it's not a new take, you, you'll be aware of my view of it, but... I sort of felt that they actually are both equally to blame for this, but they whipped themselves into a state of perpetual victimhood, not just from their own families, but also from the media and everything. Well, All they were the... being attacked by the media. Well, they're also they? praised a lot. They never thanked oh, the media for praising them. And then as soon as Camilla could get her oar in, allegedly... Cam Boy. Miller. Uh, well, the, the, the um, suggestion is that she was feeding the press negative stories, Completely right? Completely untrue. Well, have you spoken to Camilla? I am... T I am has, has that actually, been, I have spoken has to Has that Camilla. been through legal process? Do I, we know whether that is true or uh, untrue? What? What I just said, is it factually true There's or untrue? There's no evidence Camilla has ever briefed anyone in the media it about is alleged. either of them. Well, it's alleged by Harry. Right, so we have to take it as an alleged offence, <laughs> right? So that's what supposedly happened. So why now is, is the silence around Kate so loud? That's a good question. 
because the palace have decided. There's no silence around Kate. Yes, there is. The palace have decided. She had a serious abdominal surgery. Kate, whereas when Meghan was being well, hang on, attacked hang on. constantly, What's nobody this? stood up for Meghan. The what palace is didn't release a statement at all. They said nothing, and Meghan continued to be attacked in the press. So I would argue that she why wasn't was she playing attacked? a victim. Why was she? She was a victim. Why? Uh, no. Why was she and Harry attacked in the press? Well, that's a great question. I would argue that it was racism, but I can't well, hang see, on. I, I can hang only on. see it through my lens. Hang on. They weren't attacked until after they got married, right? Yeah, so, so all, and I know this because I was writing columns yeah, about but, them, but, praising yeah. well, so them. So why did you change idea, your tune? This, what made you decide? I'm, 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 going to, I'm going to tell you. Fact. I changed my tune like the rest of the British press when after they got married, they started behaving in a weirdly, rankly hypocritical manner. They would preach about carbon footprint and climate change. Then we'd see them getting on Elton John's private plane. Okay, Hang but on. Piers, that's stupid. Let me, because... finish, let me finish my point. They, okay. They would, they would we pre- don't get to finish our point. You do. They literally <laughs> tweeted about the need to take poverty seriously on their Twitter But they account. have a security On the issue. day she had a half a million dollar they baby have... shower in New Come York on. and then Rich flew back on the Clooney private jet. In other words... Okay, they, King they Charles to... always goes on about climate change. Fine. Camilla's exactly. getting a private jet by the way, holiday. they all... <laughs> All get criticized. We can all talk about no, They hypocrites. all get criticized. You don't think Charles and Camilla have been criticized? No, come on, Piers, you oh, don't have to accept Please. The not two the most criticized people in royal history were Charles and Camilla. That and is you're not old enough to remember. You are. I- I mean, right? do not and it wasn't, I I remember our and it wasn't racially Diana motivated. And the crimes committed against her. Well, how old were you when Diana died? I was, it was 96, so I would have been. Just over 10, like 10? Right, you're 10. So you yeah. weren't old enough to know what was going down, <laughs> but right? Was I knew Diana, <laughs> and I knew what went down. No one's been more vilified than Camilla in royal history. The idea that Meghan Markle got anything like the treatment that Camilla no, got no, is no, for Piers. the birds. Yeah, no, fears, but I want to go, go to this, this whole fascination with them. Even when you were writing positive things, that was still about race. That was nonsense anyway. The idea that she'd come in and change the family. And when she came in and said very clearly, I want to be the face of the Commonwealth. I want to mm. do this work, which I would have hated in in fact, I'm so happy it went badly because mm. that would have been the very worst thing. She clearly tried and said, look, I want to be part of this family, I want to do this. And every little thing was drip, drip, drip. And this is the experience that black people have. How do you explain? If it's all just, the, if it's just, the, if it's just the, the terrible royal family, this all white, awful group of people. And the media. How do you explain she's also disenfranchised from her own family on both, I wait, on both I think sides? A better way of looking at that. On both sides, the only member of her family on either side was her mother. She had people like George Clooney. She'd never met George Clooney. I'm not getting into a personal situation. I don't know about a personal situation, but I do know this family and this media, there is no. You're blaming the the royal family for the way they treated Meghan Markle. I'm saying, who do you blame in her family then? Are they all to blame too? That's a completely different. Because she disowned all of them as well. (laughs) Yeah, boy. Well, I would argue that she has, yeah, she experienced abuse from her own family, right? Thomas Markle sold stories. Her sister is awful. We don't even need to talk. Her <laughs> Thomas Markle, Thomas Markle to sold interviews but, after, you know, after when they, you see, they when threw you him been, to the wolves. When you've been in an abusive situation, you see it everywhere. And I think perhaps Meghan went with Harry into his family and went, OK, this doesn't seem right. Here we go again. And she knows.